Hey everybody, Abby here. I have a haul for you guys. Um, and again, reminder, I am on my old camera. Um, but first, before I forget, um, I have this nail polish that was new. Um, when I uploaded, I noticed that I didn't mention it. And it is a Sinful Colors Glitter Polish. Um, this is so gorgeous. This is a nail junk. Hope you can see it. This reflects like lime green, silver, blue, teal, but I have it swatched on here. You guys probably saw this swatch from the last haul, but it's just gorgeous. It kind of reminds me of like a mermaid. Such a pretty color. But anywho, um, I made an elf order because I needed to get a new powder brush. So I got a new Studio Line powder brush. You guys know what this looks like looks like this. I'm not going to take it out because I don't need it yet. Um, then I also got a couple of their new brushes. The first Studio Line brush that I got that's new is the Angled Contour Brush. Um, it's a very dense eyeshadow brush that is angled up. And what will be nice to use this for is um, maybe my highlight on my brow bone, but on my tear duct as well would be good. Or blending anything like concealer or powder on my under eye. This is like perfect size. But I don't know how I feel about like blending because it's kind of big. But it's nice, very soft. Love the studio quality brushes. And this is, was $3. And then I also got very exciting. Um, I actually wrote on a board that I wanted them to make one of these. And I just recently saw that they do, but this is the Studio Line Duo Fiber Stipple Brush. This is so soft. It's not like super dense, but this is going to be great. Like if it spreads out, it'll be um, really good for my foundation application or cream blush or my MSF from MAC. But this is awesome and for $3, I think it's comparable um, to any stippling brush. But we'll see. I haven't used it yet, so I'm kind of waiting to get more use out of my stippling brush that I'm using, but I might just give in and start using it anyways. Um, and then I got this angled foundation brush from the Studio line. I probably should have taken this stuff out before I started this video, but we run into those bumps every now and again, don't we? But it is just angled. It is that really soft synthetic. Um, I was thinking about using this if it was a little fluffier for like um, very precise blush application or contouring. Um, but this probably would be good for highlight or doing my under eye concealer. Who knows what I'll get the use out of this for but um, I really like it. Again, I love their studio brushes so it was a good purchase. Then I got the Studio, I got all Studio products because I think it was 50% off Studio at the time. So I got the Golden Bronzer and it comes just like this. Just like the Complexion Perfection or the um, Blush and Bronzer Duo. But this is what it looks like. Let me take the plastic off so it doesn't shine. It's got the four different shades. And this is what it swatches if you can see it let me just kind of do it again on my finger but it's very light um this could probably be a good bronzer or um maybe a highlight who knows but I just wanted to try one of these out and I didn't remember which was the best one so I kind of just shot my luck and got this one so I got that and then this is also a new product this is the Makeup Mist and Set Spray. Um, this has aloe, green tea, cucumbers, vitamin A, C, and E. Um, I wondered if this was going to be close to like Fix Plus, um, but this is tiny. This is 2.2 fluid ounces. I mean, for $1.50, what I paid for it, not a biggie, but <clears throat> we'll see. I'm going to be using it probably for essentially the same thing as my Fix Plus. Let me open it and see if it's... Whew. See if it smells like Fix Plus. 
I can't get the stupid. stuff off of it and if I could ever find anything to try to pry at it would be wonderful. Okay. We have achieved something. This is kind of weird. I don't know if I like the smell. Hmm. I'll have to see how I feel about this. It. Feels the same when I spray it and it doesn't really smell when I spray it so we'll see. Candid. <laughs> Candid haul. <laughs> Anyways, get on that blabbing, Abby. Then this is new too. Um, this is the Studio Line Tinin Moisturizer SPF 20. This has aloe, cucumber, vitamin A, C, and E. This is 0.7 ounces. And I don't think this really has the same smell that people were complaining about with the other Tinin Moisturizer. Like the orangey smell but this is kind of yellow let's see if I blend it out I mean it looks fine blended out so we'll see the wear of this this has a little more coverage I can already tell because I used the tinted moisturizer from the dollar line today but we'll see um, how I like that but expect reviews on all this stuff and then I got two of the brush cleaners because I'm almost out on my one and I love these so much and for $1.50 getting two bottles for the price of one you can't pass that deal up and then um, I was did a haul um, with those eyeshadows last week for MAC and I was telling you guys I was really worried about copper plate because the last matte two eyeshadow I had shattered that one shattered again when I was trying to get it out of the pot um, to put it in my palette so I put it right back into the stuff took it back to my Mac um, and went to the manager you know they all know me there and I got this eyeshadow instead which was stupid because this is a matte too like this is a matte but the other ones were matte too <laughs> um, like with the number two <laughs> but I depotted this and I cracked it and it almost died but this one made it out but this is Ho this is H-A-U-X this is a matte this is a really pretty color I really enjoy this I actually used it in this look that I'm wearing um, I just filmed a tutorial for this look so you guys should be expecting that and then I noticed that I had enough to back to MAC so I took my pots back and went to MAC and got an eyeshadow because at a certain store you can get an eyeshadow instead of a um, lipstick. So I got this eyeshadow. This is in retrospect. This is a luster. And let me see if you can see the name. And this is a very pretty like tan shimmery shade. Just the type of shadows that I love to wear. And the same day that I went and got the Ho um, eyeshadow, I was telling you guys, well, that haul, I had the Hug Me lipstick, and I kept swatching it with the Fairy Glen from A Tartan Tail, and I'm like, oh my god, I need to take this back because they are the exact same lipstick, pretty much. So I took it back, and I exchanged it for Viva Glam Cindy. I have been looking at this lipstick for quite a long time, and I never really had the guts to get it. Um, but like I don't really have a nice like red lipstick and I think this is the perfect tone on me and I think it's not too much so I really like it and I'm glad that I went and switched it because Viva Glam is going away in February so I had to pick that up while I still could and then Brian bought me three pro pans for my palette because I wanted a couple wasn't willing to 
get them in the pot form because they shatter. So when I went to get the back to Mac, they have propans at the different store. So I went there and I picked up three shades. The first one that I got is Lucky Green. It's just a very shimmery, like pretty, pretty green. Then I got a new copper plate because I loved it so much and I couldn't just like not get it. And then I got a highlight. I needed a MAC highlight um, that was shimmery. I have, I think, well I have enough matte highlights but I got shroom just a shimmery highlight um so I got those I was really excited for them and I hope you guys enjoyed this haul I'm sorry it was kind of rambly and me not you know not functioning very well but I will talk to you guys very very soon please remember to comment like and subscribe and I'll talk to everybody soon